Thursday night in Ames, Iowa, Sam Ellinger. Oh, he's got the Dan Neal dance moves. <laughs> but it was Shane Bouchel getting start. Speaking of dance moves or just moves overall, third and nine on the opening offensive drive for Texas. Bouchel buying all sorts of time. Eventually, he's taken down by Jaquan Bailey. It's a fumble. Texas recovers. But watch what number 19 does. This is Bailey. After the play, he's called for unsportsmanlike conduct because he does this. See, and this isn't a penalty in my imagination. Let the young man Yeah, you're fun. Sophie guy. You do that like <laughs> on a daily basis and record yourself while you flip and do it in your pink Can suit. Can we get back to football? <laughs> I guess so. Opening drive, that's the third down. Chris Warren puts it in the end zone and then puts it on the turf. Who's to blame here? The breakdown starts up front. You can see Nicholson and Vahe not together. 58 breaks up the play right when he's trying to hand it off to Foreman. So you don't get it done up front. Nothing else matters. Hey, it's all good, though. The Texas defense got your back. That could have been an INT for Nation Hughes or one of his mates in the secondary. Instead, it's just a short drive for Iowa State. No points on the board. Jacob Park. Man, he was just facing all sorts of duress. He could not get comfortable in the pocket because there really was no pocket. Elliott comes up with the INT. There would be more. Well, you could see Jacob Park struggling all night and his inability to step up in the pocket, trying to scramble, ran in trouble all night. Bouchel, the keep, the elusive one, takes a shot because of that hit. 15 yards, it's not targeting. However, it is a personal foul on that hit. So I'll move the chains 15 yards, give him the first down. How about this? Feeling the pressure, and that's the freshman running back, Tennille Carter, who, in the words of Tom Herman, is the most twitched up guy they have in the backfield. <laughs> I like that term, twitched up. Jacob Park floating it. This ball obviously affected 17 seconds before the half, and Chris Boyd, give me that. Boyd with his first INT. I'm, I'm happy for Chris Boyd. Been playing some solid football lately. Uh, he, he deserved that INT. It is a 14 0 lead for Texas going into the break. Michael Dixon. This is the only real boo-boo that, that set up Iowa State to get on the board. It was not a perfect night, not a clean night, and Dixon was kicking the snot out of the football. This one ends up on the 28, and even with pressure, Park makes something happen, going end zone, finding his man, Matthew Eaton, and with that, Iowa State is on the board. Yeah, this is where the old Texas may have started to fold, uh, but not this year, not this team at least. Yeah, any more momentum was short-lived as that one is off the fingertips of Akeem Butler and Elliott for the third time this season has a two INT game. Doing it back-to-back -back games, had two against USC as well. Fourth quarter, Josh Rowland. This is a huge kick, 49 yards. He was one for four before this, <laughs> and it's pure. Never a doubt. <laughs> as soon as it left the foot, That we makes it. one of us. <laughs> Fourth and four, Texas had already stopped Iowa State earlier in the game. Look at Malik Jefferson. Down goes Jacob Park. I love how he ran through the tackle and then, and then tried to strip the ball at the end of the play. Opposing teams 0 for 7 against the Texas defense on fourth down. Those are basically turnovers to go along yeah. with the eight takeaways for the Texas defense this season. Shane Bouchel, 19 of 26, 171 yards, touchdown and interception. Chris Warren, the third, 16 carries. 44 yards and a touchdown. If we learn anything about Shane Bouchelle that we didn't already know, it's not that he's tough, it's not that he has a spin move, we've seen that before, but it looks now like he is willing to run that type of offense and can run the type of offense that Tom Herman and Tim Beck want him to run. A lot of carries, a lot of contact.